Tonight, I'm going to take a picture of a spectacular spiral galaxy that lies 12 million light years away called Bode's Galaxy. I'll show you exactly how I accomplished this feat using my camera and telescope here in the backyard, from pointing my telescope at the right spot in the night sky to sharing my final picture of the galaxy at the end of the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Astro Backyard. I'm so glad you found it. Now let's photograph a galaxy. It's a rare clear night here in this city. After a weekend of rain, it looks like there's a large opening in the cloud cover forecasted for tonight. I use a number of astronomy apps on my phone to forecast the weather. Astrosphere is probably my favorite. When it comes to a good astro forecast, cloud cover is obvious, but there's other factors to consider like seeing and transparency. These can really make a difference between a crystal clear shot of a galaxy and a hazy one. I deal with a lot of light pollution back here too, but there's some things you can do to get around that, like shooting away from the light dome, limiting exposure time, and of course using a light pollution filter. The bright light of the moon can also really get in the way, and unfortunately it's 90% full tonight, so sometimes you just have to play the cards you're dealt. Normally I wouldn't try to capture a broad spectrum subject like a galaxy under these conditions, but it's galaxy season and this one's a real stunner. It's etched on my brain and I have to see what it looks like when photographed through my biggest telescope. This galaxy is so bright that you can actually see it through the eyepiece of a backyard telescope yourself if you know where to look. I'm going to get out my Dobsonian telescope and take a look myself later on. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, type M81 into your favorite astronomy app. It will tell you exactly where to look. And spoiler alert, there's a big galaxy right next to it, and you might see that one too. I'm using my biggest telescope to photograph this galaxy tonight. It's a Celestron Edge HD 11, and it can collect a lot of light at once. It uses a big 11 inch mirror to reflect the image through the scope into the eyepiece, or in my case, onto a camera sensor. I'll collect all of this glorious starlight in full color using my current favorite dedicated astro camera, the ZWO ASI 2400MC Pro. You can think of this camera like a DSLR without the body and some special features for a low light, long exposure photography. And instead of a camera lens attached to frame up and collect light on the subject, it's a big honking telescope. And believe me, what this can capture will blow your mind. The sun is setting and my anticipation to point my telescope towards Bode's galaxy is rising by the minute. This 90,000 light year wide galaxy rises nice and high into the sky from my latitude. It's near the handle of the Big Dipper for reference, and because of where it is, I can start shooting on it as soon as it gets dark out. Before I can do that though, I need to do a polar alignment and a quick star alignment routine. This way, my telescope will know exactly where it's pointed in the night sky. This process is best done at dusk because only the brightest stars will appear, which provide a great reference point for fine tuning the mount. Whether you're using a small portable star tracker or a massive EQ mount like this Skywatcher EQ8, the process is generally the same. Polar align, find your object, and start tracking. When everything is running as it should, let the good times roll. Seriously, have I told you guys how much I've missed this?
So what I'm doing right now is focusing this telescope. Because I'm using the ASI Air app, I can see it on my phone here. I see a big donut for the bright star Sirius that I'm pointed at right now. So doing my star alignment and focusing all in one shot. Here's what I'm looking at on my phone screen and that's the blown out Sirius as you can see. And as I tighten up the focus, it will get smaller and smaller. So I'm just changing the focuser knob right now. And then I take another three second exposure and you should see it getting smaller. There we go, it's a little bit smaller. So I gotta keep going that way to get this bright star in focus. Right now I'm calibrating the auto guiding system on my telescope. So the smaller refractor telescope sitting on top of the main one is my guide scope. In there is a small guide camera and its job is to improve the tracking accuracy of the telescope mount by sending subtle pulses to it to make adjustments. So a very simple step to create much better long exposure images. The ASI Air Plus has a great auto guiding system built into it. It works fantastic. It's never let me down and it couldn't make the process simpler. Messier 81 or Bode's Galaxy, also NGC 3031, is a grand spiral design galaxy that's 12 million light years away in the constellation Ursa Major. Any of you in the Northern Hemisphere are familiar with that constellation because that's where the Big Dipper is. And earlier I said it's near the handle, it's actually near the pan of the Big Dipper. Due to its size and relatively large surface brightness, this galaxy is not only well observed by professional astronomers, but also backyard observers as well. It's a good one to go after with your backyard telescope. You will see it even from the city. I've seen it many times through the eyepiece of my telescope and it's pretty sweet to see. You'll just see that bright glowing core of the nucleus of the galaxy. Not those spiral arms, but if you get under dark skies, you might see more than that. This past winter felt like the cloudiest and coldest since I started astrophotography. But now that spring is here, I feel my astro energy restoring. Galaxy season has arrived in full swing and I can't think of a better subject for you to kick things off than Bode's galaxy. It's funny how seeing or photographing a distant galaxy has a way of putting things into perspective real quick. So much division here on Earth. But we're all human, right? What are you doing with that? You wanted me to fly it. Bring huh? her over. Take her up. <laughs> 